In this tutorial, you'll learn two ways to change the slide background in PowerPoint. Keep in mind that on a slide you have a background and you have layers. If we go to the Home tab up in the ribbon and go over to the right to Select and hit the drop down menu, we select Selection Pane, it shows us the different layers on this slide. So we have a picture, which is this elephant. If I click on it, it'll highlight it. And then we have a Be Creative text on a layer. And then we have In PowerPoint on a layer. So we have three different layers. If we're going to shut off those layers, turn them off, the only thing that's left that we can't touch is the background. Now let me show you two ways to change your background. We start with a blank slide with a white background. Go to the View tab, click on Master Slide or Slide Master, excuse me. And this shows all our slide masters. We're going to click on the very first one. We're going to move over to Background. Here we can select colors and fonts and so forth. We're going to do this, click on the drop down menu. And on the right, it opens up the Format Background menu. Here we can select solid fills, gradients, pictures, patterns, or even hide background graphics. We're going to select Picture. We're now going to go down to Picture Source. We're going to click on Insert. And we have a choice of getting it from a file on our computer or elsewhere, or to go to Stock Images or Online Pictures or from Icons. We're going to go to Stock Images, and that will take us to Microsoft Stock Images. Now what we're going to do is we're going to type in the word Background, and we have a whole selection of backgrounds. We're going to select the very first background. We're going to click on that, come down, click on Insert. Now we're going to move over to the Picture icon, select that and we come over to Picture Color. If we come down, you'll see that we can change the way this picture looks, the saturation, temperature, so forth. But we're going to go over here where it says Presets. And under Presets, we're going to bring that menu down. And here we have a number of presets that we can choose. We're not going to choose any presets. We're going to leave our background the same. So we're actually, we're done. So this is all you have to do to create a background. The thing to keep in mind is to get out of this View, you have to go up to where it says Close Master View, and that will take you out of the Master Slide View. So we click on that, and now we're back to our slide. This is the second method and more creative method for changing background in PowerPoint. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the Design tab. We're going to select that, and the first thing that brings up are themes, different kinds of themes that we can apply to our slide. And if these aren't enough themes, on the right hand side we can click, and there's additional themes. And if those are enough themes, you can browse on the internet for more themes. And you can also save your themes. So we're going to go up and click this one that's green. And now we have a green border around our picture. So if you remember, this photo is actually an image that was from our previous lesson and is actually a background. So this put a background on top of a background. We can also change the color. We can go to blue. We can go to other colors, but I like the green. We're going to come back to the green. On this, there's also some options. We can go to different kind of colors. This is a handy chart. It gives you options of different colors and variants of colors, fonts, effects, background styles. The big thing here, well, let me point out one other thing. You notice over here it said design ideas. These are ideas that they came up with that maybe you'd like to use instead. So here's a design idea. Looks pretty neat. And so you can use their ideas. And there's all kinds of design ideas within PowerPoint. So that popped up automatically. What happens if it doesn't pop up? Say it was gone and you want that to pop up to give you some help. Just click over here to Design Ideas and click on that. And the ideas will pop up. The big thing within this panel under Design, Format Background, if you notice that takes us back to something that looks familiar from our first lesson. It's the same menu. But rather than go through into it through the master slide, we came into it through Design. 
So we can go back out of here. And if you want to find this, all you have to do is go back to design, go on the right hand side, format background, click on it. And now you can install anything in your background with solid feel, gradient colors, pictures. We already have our one picture here. And uh, it works the same way as the other one. We just go over to insert. We can insert from file. We can insert from stock images, online, and so forth. The same menu. We can go over here. We can adjust the transparency. We can uh, come over here and add artistic effects and change our background to something uh, even you know different. And we can go over, and you see it changed it. We'll change it back. We can go over on the uh, picture icon and here we can change the saturation, the temperature. And once again, we have the presets right here that we saw in the first half. So this is the second method that you can use to create a background. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Give us a thumbs up and we'll see you at the next tutorial.